Hello YouTube, welcome to Neo's YouTube channel. Today I want to show how to test a power transistor that is 2N3055. How to test a power transistor using a multimeter. I checked on the internet and there was not uh, that much of information as to for a systematic check how to check a power transistor. 2N3055 is an NPM transistor. Uh, it, it is a TO3 CAN type transistor and uh, I need I wanted to know how to check and the pin configuration. So right now here you see the transistor mounted on a heat sink and I will show you how to check or identify the pin for the transistor. Now if you keep a transistor in front of you, you'll see at the center you'll see two leads and these are all the tabs. You have to keep it in such a way that the, the tab with respect to the pin are nearer. This distance is nearer compared to this distance. So if you keep the transistor like that, you can identify the pins as the tab, as the collector. On to your left is the base. On to your right is the emitter. Now we'll see how to check if the transistor is good or bad. So what we need to do is, we need to place it like this and take a digital multimeter. So the multimeter over here, put it to the continuity tester that is the diode testing mode. You'll see the diode testing mode over here. You'll see the diode signal sign over there. So first you need to check by connecting the positive lead onto the base. If you, if you connect the positive lead onto the base and check by collect, connecting the black lead onto the collector, that is the tap. If you see, you'll see a reading, you'll see on the right hand top corner, you'll see a reading of 0.58 uh, it may go, uh, go until 0.6 so that depends if you get that reading then it's the correct reading and with that again connect to the base as well as emitter and you'll see if you collect you connect to the base as well as emitter again you'll see the reading the same kind of reading in the multimeter then it shows it's the, the, the transistor is good the first test which we did was the forward bias and the second test what we'll check is for the reverse bias so what we'll do is we'll connect the negative test lead to the base this time Let's see for the base and then collect, connect the positive to the collector that is the tab and you should you should not get any reading uh, in your multimeter uh, you have to get either OL in some multimeter in my multimeter uh, DMM you will get uh, one or other multimeter sometimes you will get open that depends on the multimeter same again uh, connect the negative and connect the positive to the emitter you should not get any reading you should get open now again we'll check this time we'll connect the positive to the collector that is on to the tab and this time we will collect, connect the negative to the emitter. Again, we should 
not get any reading we should get one or ol or open so if you get that that means your transistor is good now again we will reverse it we'll connect negative to the collector and positive to the emitter and we should get one or open or ol then that that means the transistor is good so that's how you can test the transistor with a simple digital multimeter or any other multimeter analog multimeter as well to check if the transistor is working this particular transistor I'm actually checking uh, for one of my power supply unit which was gone bad so I'm checking stage by stage to see what has gone bad and I'll just show you my power supply unit which I've just opened well that's the that's my power supply unit which is a linear power supply using uh, 2N3055 banks so that is uh, trying to repair this because the output is uh, low I'll, so I'm testing the transistors one by one to repair this so thank you for watching and see you next time this is VU3NEO signing off